Russia's relentless attack on Ukraine, it rages on, with the UN estimating that around 800 Ukrainian civilians, including dozens of children, have been killed thus far. It's thought more than three million Ukrainians have now fled the country in a bid to seek safety. Hoping to bring a swift end to the conflict, the leaders of the world's two superpowers, United States and China, are set for phone talks on Friday U.S. time. Victor Flood with the details. Russia's invasion of Ukraine is now into its fourth week, and the number of civilians killed so far is estimated at around 780. The UN says this figure includes nearly 60 children. Over 1,200 civilians have also been injured. As the shells and rockets continue to rain down, satellite images show the extensive damage done to civilian infrastructure and residential buildings in many parts of Ukraine. At least 21 people were killed on Thursday in Kharkiv, a city in the northeast of the country, following a Russian attack involving a relentless barrage of artillery and rockets. Russian forces destroyed a school and community center in the city, which has been under heavy bombardment since the onset of the war. Against this backdrop, the Kremlin said Thursday that Russia was putting, quote, colossal energy into talks to reach a peace deal. However, it added Russia is not seeing the same zeal from Ukraine. While Ukraine says it's willing to negotiate, it insists it won't surrender nor will it accept Russian ultimatums. Moscow continues to reiterate that it wants a neutral Ukraine as well as what it calls the demilitarization and denazification of Ukraine. As diplomatic efforts continue around the world, US President Joe Biden is expected to talk over the phone on Friday US time with his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping. The White House says the call is part of Washington's ongoing effort to maintain open lines of communication between the two superpowers. U.S. officials say Biden and Xi will discuss the war in Ukraine and other issues of mutual concern. Victor Flood, Arirang News.